Yo, what's up guys, the Roxian Legends back with another tutorial. You guys want this in your obby? Let's say you're making like an obby stage, right? And you have no idea what to do. This is probably one cool feature, cool this is like one cool stage you might want to add in your obby. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta touch this button. And then you see that the button could walk here. And it takes a few seconds for it to disappear. And then you fall down. And note that you could press the button again too. By like just walking towards it. So yeah, you guys want this in your obby? I'll show you how to do this and it's really quick and it just requires like little scripting. Let's start now. So let's remove all this. Let's act like I'm starting new, alright? That's my plan. So I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove this. Alright, so starting off by scratch. What you want to do is you want to make two parts. One, call it bridge. So just name it bridge. And the other, just call it like um just call it like a button. Because that's basically where the plate's gonna tap to engage in it all right so here you go so what you want to do with first is you obviously want to get the bridge part and you want to extend it to make it like actually walkable so like players won't like literally rage and just dip from the game the second they just hop on all right so once you finish positioning both of your parts and I have to rename it what you want to do is just anchor both parts and then go to the bridge and set these you're gonna make transparency 0.7, alright? Or any transparency you want, just make it like visible the bridge, like partially, like you can see that it's visible and transparent. And also, you want to change collide to off, because we're gonna turn it on when the player touches this part. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a script to the button. Alright, so what you want to do with the script is once you got, once you make the script and delete everything, and then what we're gonna do is. We actually want to call it the button too, to make it like a, a normal state. So let's set a normal state color for this bridge. I mean this this um button. Hold me, I'm forgetting my English. But yeah, I set it as forest green because it looks really nice and just fits in the ab atmosphere, you know. So pick the color and keep it like that because we're going to need to get its RGB values later. Which you can see over here actually, I just realized. But anyways, let's start typing now. We're going to declare two, two um, variables first. Want to declare the button and want to declare the bridge. So let's declare the button first. We're gonna type local um button equals to script that parent. And then we're gonna type local bridge. This declares the bridge. So we're gonna target it at workspace.bridge. Whatever you name the bridge, just put it over here. Because that, that matters. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, target a, f not target. We're gonna like declare a function. We're gonna declare our function that actually like makes the game that makes the two um, parts work with each other. Like it makes it interact because we're scripting it. So let's type local function. Let's make a name for the function. We're gonna name it button press because it makes sense that the player actually walks to the button. Yo, what is this red line saying? <laughs> Anyways, let's just put the parentheses. And we gotta hit enter. And then basically we got our function set up now. Now what I wanna do is you want, I wanna go after enter like one or two lines. And we're gonna connect the function. So button dot touch dot connect button dot touch. My bad. Dot touch. And then colon connect. And then parentheses button press put it in there. And then pretty much it's good anyways let's start scripting turns out I made a typo over here that's why this thing is red but now you see it's no longer complaining and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna type we're gonna first basically customize the button like I was saying like I'm gonna make it red I'm gonna change the color to red to let players know that it's in action so let's make it red let's make it like a dark red like forest red Forest green, forest red, perfect pair. Anyways, aside from that, after you pick the color, whatever you want, we're gonna do, we're gonna change the um, bridges. We're gonna change the bridge now. So we're gonna type bridge that um, transparency because we made it 0.7, right? We got, we're now gonna make it zero to make it actually fully visible, which lets the player know that the bridge got altered and they can now walk on it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the bridge again. In order to make it walkable, 
Transparency don't do anything. It just affects the appearance. So yeah, we gotta now customize its properties by turning on can collide. So just type bridge that can collide equals to true. And you see this thing is smart. I right? didn't know what I was gonna say. But yeah, just like a heads up, this is how our script looks right now. So you guys know we're on the same page. After that, let's make the bridge last for 10 seconds. And then later it goes back to a normal state of being like a transparent bridge that's waiting for its button to be pressed. All right, all right, let's start now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type task.wait. I'm gonna do like a split and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we want 10 seconds, right? I'm gonna set this to seven and I wanna change the, bri the bridge's color to yellow to let the player know that something is actually gonna happen to it. It's not like they press a button and they're gonna be walking on it forever. And like, obviously there's gonna be like stuff that happens, you know? So let's make this bridge yellow. So let's click this pro. Let's hit. Let's put. Let's click it. We're gonna click the rainbow thing. I actually almost like messed up my shapes. I almost called it a pyramid, but yeah, we're gonna make it yellow. And the next thing we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna type task weight. So you know, you gotta solve an equation, right? You gotta know like how much seconds left you have to put it to make it like actually ten seconds. So. It's a good way to do like algebra one, you know, and obviously the answer is three X equal three. You heard, but anyways, put it three and we're going to type bridge. We're going to revert the color back first. That's the first thing I want to do. So we're going to revert it back to its um, gray color. All right. So what, what, hold on. I got to put three. Okay. Now it's responding. We got to click this rainbow now. And you see it has the RGB values, right? We gotta like fetch it from the bridge. Let's see what we got. 163, 162, 165. All right, we could just type it like this. So we don't have to click the rainbow button anymore. Next thing we gotta do is we're gonna type bridge dot transparency equals to 0.7 back to its original state. We're actually gonna type bridge dot can collide equals to um, false right and last thing I want to do is I want to customize the button so that's gonna be button dot color equals to color 3 from RGB we gotta get the colors of our default button that's four screens so that's 31 128 29 let's type that and hopefully this thing should work it looks pretty good it looks like it's gonna be functional anyways I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work so I'm gonna add a spawn real quick in case I die and let's play now All right, so you see over here, this is the button, right? This is basically our obstacle obstacle course. You see over here, if I walk to it, if I try jumping, I'm going to die. Because I, I set the collisions for it as false in the properties as default. And you can also see there's a transparent look at the bridge. The button, however, is green, but no transparency because I didn't affect anything with it in the script. But when you touch the button, you can see that the button, like, I mean the bridge, it turns non-transparent. And you could actually walk on it. But however, after seven seconds, it turned yellow. Then when three seconds pass, it turns back to gray and player falls, they die. And yeah, this, this is like a pretty good inve invention, I gotta admit. Really good for obbies if like you're trying to make hide a part, hide a button. You could be creative with like the button details. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.